hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well yes today i'm just trying some i'm just making some chicken pies this is so good anybody can eat this so if you want to see how i make this looking so shiny and nice keep watching and if you are new please do subscribe and be part of the family if you are old thank you for supporting me thank you for clicking and thank you for coming back so my beautiful people i'm starting from here these are the things i'll be using this is diced onions and this is carrots this is my potato chicken i boiled and i seasoning it and i debone them so this is my chicken this is my thyme i'll be using thyme and i'll be using a little bit of rosemary skip this if you don't have rosemary chicken seasoning because of the chicken my cube that's all i'll be using here so let's cook this is thickener for the for the sauce i'm going to make so it's one of this spoon flour i'm going to add the meat add the chicken I'm going to add a bit of water in this spoon full of thyme half of it rosemary half of it the chicken seasoning use one of this and i'm going to add a bit of water so the vegetable can cook properly i'll test for salt or if i need to add a little bit of my cube i'll just test I'm adding half of this because it's not okay for me. Please forgive the noise around here. My guy is here. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, perfect for me so I'll just leave it to cook a little bit to pour water in here just a little bit of water and stir this so yeah this is a thickener for this I'm going to add it little by little not just pour oil is it i'm just going to leave it to cook for some seconds and then i'll remove it it's perfect i'm going to off my heat and let it cool down completely i'll let it cool down very well the weather is cold so this will not be a problem this is the mush i'm using I don't know how to give you measurement because me I'm not even measuring anything I'm just putting it and if I make it it will still turn out nice this is the flour I'm using and I did not finish it still leave a little bit inside because it's too much it's the pinch of salt I don't eat salt that much and same sugar Two bit of salt with this spoon one of these for sugar and nutmeg if you don't have it just keep it a little bit of nutmeg in this mixture i needed a um, baking powder but most times if i don't have baking powder i do skip it but if you have it do put i'm not going to put here and it will still turn out nice using this if you have margarine you can use all 
you can just manage butter I'm going to be working this with my hand. This is the mush margarine that I used. I'm going to be working it with my hand. Don't mind my my nails; they are hard. I couldn't pull them, so I'm just going to work it with them there. Right. I don't have all the time to do this so I'm just going to move to the next step that is adding water add the water little by little so you don't make mistake because if you add too much of water your pie will, will come out very hard strong Adding the whole of this water. <sighs> this is what you want to achieve, not a sticky dough at all. So all of this crumbs down here will just I'm looking for a smooth dog after some battle. This is what the dog is looking like. I'm going to take it. I'm going to keep it here and just cover that. Yeah, this is. I'll leave it for some, let's say 10 minutes so it will be easy to work with. My oven. I'm going to preheat my oven and break the air. I'll be using only the yolk, so this I will waste. This I need. I'm sorry, pour milk on it. You can skip it, but and this is what it's looking like. And I want to. Now it's easy to work with. It's a bit soft, soft but more sticky. This point, if I'm making ten, I will just cut ten. Any extra I can make it eleven. But yeah, this is how I make my. You can do yours anyhow you you understand it better. Yes, this is not any perfect meat by this is just how i make my at home most of the times one will be bigger than the other because i'm not i'm not measuring anything so just going to pick one of these and just use this to This is how it's looking most times it's very flat most people will like their dough thick if you like your dough thick please make it thick i i don't like thick dough i like the flat ones so yes most times i make it like this most times not every time so just Please put it in the middle and most people will use fork to close the mouth but I find my finger helpful so I just go like this like this like this and so yeah, most times I go for the round shape. So I just cut that. See, 
see that this is my egg make sure most times you need it to close the mat of your pie and then you put this in the middle then you cover So this shape is what I'll be making today. And I'll just close that with my fingers. You can use fork if you want. So yeah, this shape is what I'll be making today. Yes, this is what it's looking like after I'm just going to just poke a hole inside. My egg mixture is still here, so I'm just going to rub that top of it. Fish. I'll show you the final result when I get back. Yes, after like 15 minutes, it's not bad. Yeah, this is the first one that I I made. I'm just going to take them out from the baking pan. The baking sheet helps to keep them together as the final result of my pies let me just open one so you see how it's looking inside yes this is it inside mm. Mm. very hot and tasty so yeah mm. that is it please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you are if you haven't done that already if you are new you are most definitely welcome please do hit that subscribe button so yeah i'll be all for this video thank you for watching bye